Adam from Cold Wave and this is our Grail rack. This is a, a rack of teas that we've curated ourselves, all just like premium vintage. And I just want to show you this one. So this is a 1997 Chicago Bulls wrap tee. Um, these become very popular and are quite hard to find with the double print, full colour. Um, so it's a 1997 NBA Chicago Bulls tee. Um, these are all bootleg, so these aren't like an official t-shirt. These are all like parking lot bootlegs that have been sold outside of stadiums, at swap markets, swap meets, flea markets, that sort of thing. So yeah, these are just very unique, full colour, back and front. And these are, yeah, very well sought after. And we've got this one at 300. Did your mum roll that for you? 
know. It's <laughs> got a lot of time wrong with it. How back did it work? Three cup. Three cup? Yeah. Damn. So, like when I, had, when I had the high tops yesterday, it was two. Yeah. They sit nicely on the pan. So these are a lower cup. Around the three. And they sit nicely. Um, so pretty much I have been collecting vintage for like 10 years. It's mostly like, well, like it started from like band tees, it's being involved in like hardcore punk music and just try, trying to, always trying to find like the original, whether it be like a t-shirt or a record. It's always wanting like the original of that. Um, yeah, it started as like collecting tees, buying a few here and there, like via eBay, Etsy, Facebook marketplace, that sort of thing. Um, and then it got to a point where I was just buying a lot. But then with vintage, it always sort of fits differently. So I was like selling stuff, trading stuff. And then I just really enjoyed that. So I started, I made a like Instagram page, selling a bit here and there. And it started to just build naturally from there to the point where I was, yeah, I had a website. I was selling a fair bit of stuff each week. I've done a few events in Melbourne. And yeah, it sort of just naturally grew from there. And then, yeah, the opportunity came up to open the store that right now is 74 King Street. And yeah, we've been open almost six months now. It's been very positive, the reaction's been awesome. Yeah, it's really built, built it on that. Um, so I really just want to build it, keep building it up, keep building our clientele and like, I think the way that we do things is kind of different. I feel like we offer like a very unique um, take on vintage. Like we do a lot of like niche stuff. So like you can find a lot of stuff you wouldn't find in like a, the traditional like vintage stores, a lot of like rarer items. We also have the sneaker wall, where we offer a lot of vintage, like a lot of, a lot of uh, like rarer sneakers and things like that. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to just like build up the store we have at the moment and start to do some other projects, whether it be interstate pop-up or being involved in like local events and music events, things like that. Um, and yeah, just keep building, working with new people, see how YouTube goes. So yeah, the one item from my personal collection that I would never sell is uh, this the first ever vintage tee that I ever picked up. It's like a 90s Life of Agony chrome face t-shirt. Uh, picked it up on eBay for like $40 or $50. And yeah, I've worn it hundreds of times at this point in the last like 10 years. It says, yeah, big sentimental value. And it's awesome design I see very often. Uh, yeah, I can never sell it. Hope so, man. I think they have like quite a few pairs. Yeah, it's been. You get something. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Thanks. All the way to the corner. Yeezy Black 350 for Black Friday. I think um, it looks like, like it's yeah, like uh, started, uh, what well, that started to use. There's you in the yeah, plastic bags are used. Oh, yeah.